God, Willis. This really is the life here. It truly is, my God. No producers pestering us. No deadlines, no uh, no dates, no dues, no nothing. We're on cloud nine right now. Sure are. Will and Micah, what are you doing here? Bro, what could you possibly want with us right now? Oh my God. Oh, did you guys forget that you both had deadlines tomorrow? Bro. Guys, you guys need to film anchors today. Why are you in Hawaii? You goobers need what? to get back to work. What are you talking about? You literally said we had a week off. And wrong. This is your week on. Get back to work, goobers. <laughs> Will. And I'm Micah, and, and this, this is Kawati. Today is Tuesday, March 5th. Yes, it is, Will, and I'm um, happy to say we are uh, on location in uh, Hawaii. Aloha, yotes. You know, this time of year, uh, we've got some girls' hockey taking place. Yes, we do, Micah. They've been on the grind this year, and they've put in the work. Awesome. Let's uh, t -t 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 toss it over to Nick and Joe for more on that. At the start of the new school year, the creation of the Lady Coyotes gave many a place to play, and junior Sam Allegranti was happy to hear the news. It kind of started when Frank and some other coaches approached me and said, hey, we want to start um, a girls' monarch hockey team, uh, if you'd be interested, and I was. You know, we never got to be in the yearbook, got to be included in anything, um, and some of the girls wanted like an actual high school team to play for so that they could represent their high school. Hardships come with the creation of a new team. For Sam and the Yotes, none were noticed in their first tournament. Started off this inaugural season, we won our first tournament. We sweeped uh, the whole tournament, won every game, uh, won a banner. And so it started off pretty well. The feeling of winning and proving yourself in high school hockey still doesn't compare to the pride Sam feels playing the game today. I was definitely very excited, um, especially as a Monarch student, it was a lot more personal for me. It makes me feel really proud to be playing. Um, it was very rare to even be able to see other girls when I was playing when I was little, so it's nice to be able to be on a team with other girls, and completely girls. For KYOT, this is Nick Wilton and Joseph Lowry. You know, uh, tried hockey once. You did? You, you played hockey? Chuckle, chuckle. <laughs> yeah, bro. Screw off. Except, uh, it was always mad uncomfy. Made me mad. And a little bit angry, too. I think you guys know where this is going. Dom, take it away. Welcome, Coyotes. I'm Donald Spacone. And I'm mad. Ah! It's 40 below freezing here in a -Hall. And it's 80 degrees outside. Uh, <laughs> God. Oh well. Look who it is. B Hall. Wow. What a great day out here in B Hall it is. Let's go to my math class. <laughs> oh god. It's getting really warm. Oh god. The climate of the hallways in Monarch never ceased to amaze me. It makes the already bipolar weather of Colorado twice as extreme. It could be 95 degrees out here, but in the hallways, you'd wish you'd worn snow pants and a snow jacket. On the right day, or perhaps the wrong day, traveling between halls feels like experiencing every climate our bipolar state has to offer. From the tundras of A-Hall to the heat of the C-Hall deserts, every day brings something new. My sophomore year, I had math class seventh period after a long day where it was over 90 degrees. That is true. But it's all okay, because we got school off those two days. Well, Coyotes, I hope you all have a temperate day. I hope all your climates are comfortable. Be good to yourselves. Have a great day. Well, Yotes, that is it. That is all for this week's KYOT episode. And remember, Yotes, pack strong. Ow!